Good afternoon. This is the Harvard, Massachusetts Shaker Cemetery. Established in 1791, last buried 1918. Now this is a very unique cemetery. It is said to be the only cemetery of its type in the world. As you can see, these are markers for the most part that look like what they call lollipops. Now there are some stone monuments left. They did the burials with stone monuments at first and then changed to these, excuse me, metal markers. It's well kept up. It's very clean and it says Harvard Shakers 1791 to 1918. Now the Shakers were a different sort of people. They they had very strange relig religious beliefs and it was started by a woman who had lost all her young children at a very young age. It caused her to think that if you had children, you were going to meet the wrath of God. And they just di literally died out. Well, now these are the stones, but they are not stones. They are metal discs, and they do resemble lollipops. Now, these are all shakers. And I'm going to let you know a little bit about them. They are located about, we're located about 30 miles northwest of Boston, Massachusetts, in the northeast corner of the town of Harvard. They established one of the earliest communities. They chose the spot that Mother Ann Lee, the sex founder, had used as their headquarters during her 1781 to 1783 missionary journey from New York to New England. Lee and her followers purchased a square house in Harvard built by local New Light minister Shadrach, Ireland. The square house became the cornerstone of what would become the Harvard Shaker community after Lee's return and her subsequent death. Never among the largest of the Shaker communities, the Harvard Shakers reached their peak of population between 1825 and 1849 when they had as many as 188 members living in four families. The church family centered around the square house, grew at its peak to be a substantial agricultural village of over 40 buildings, including three dwellings, houses, meeting houses, five-story herb processing, a stable, and one of the largest barns in Massachusetts, a tannery office, blacksmith shop, medical shop, and sheds for storing firewood, coal, ashes, and ice. The South family was less than a quarter of a mile to the Southwest and centered around the former home of Isaac Willard. It became the house of the Harvard Shaker order and would grow to more than 15 buildings, including a large dwelling house, office, blacksmith shop, stone barn, sheds, and shops. The smallest family, the East family, closely tied to the South family, was located due south of the church family and had a dwelling barns and shops. The North family, also known as the Second Family, located its village due north, mostly what is now um, the town of South Groton. They grew to include an office, dwelling, shops, and barns. And after 1853, the North family would become known for the large brick dwelling of 40 rooms, completed in 1853 and known locally as the Rural House. The Harvard Shaker Village that gave comprises of 12 remaining Shaker structures, a burial ground. Now this is the burial ground. 
where um, outdoor worship once took place, and there are wonderful trails and lots of places now. Um, as as we do this, you can see that the um, the cemetery is on a a narrow country uh, road. However, it is well traveled, and there were several people out there jogging and doing the things. Now, um, in interest to follow through, I have left um, some cameras so that I can observe anything that happens in this place. This has been known for its um, rite of passage for memory use in the area. They all claim to have ghost stories, interesting things like that. And as you probably are aware, I am an avid ghost hunter. Now, um, it's very easy to find the lady at the Historical Society is extremely interesting. She had lots of information, gave me information, and welcomed me to visit her. She's open on Mondays and Tuesdays between 1 and 5, at least at this time. The only um, uh, foundation or remaining buildings that I could find on my own uh, look like they were now belonging to a private entity and I did not feel that I had the right to go to check it out. Um, the the Shakers, as you know it, were uh, a, a strange group to some degree. They did not believe in men and women getting together and being husband and wife or anything. Um, it is thought that possibly the founder came up with this idea because when she was uh, married to another, a gentleman in England, she gave birth to four children, and all four children passed on at a very young age. Uh, the markers are clear, easy to read. As you can see, the, even the gravestone themselves are extremely easy to read. The um, stone wall could use a little help, but it's it's basically kept up. The lawn is manicured and done well. There's not no entering into the uh, cemetery with your vehicle, so you can park on the side. It's in front of the stone wall. I also was asked not to touch any of the markers. Now, I'm going to assume that because they're metal, they might have rust or tarnish from human touch. But they did ask that you don't, t that you don't touch. The cemetery is open to the public from dusk to dawn. It has a simple rope holding the gate open and closed. And it's a lovely shaded area. I would highly recommend it. Um, I hope that everybody enjoys this. The, there's so many pictures that I'm not going to be able to continue talking. I'm going to just allow you to watch these. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much for your time.